show. We are once a week broadcast from Manchester, New Hampshire, where we are pro pot, pro gun, and pro coffee. Uh, you can find all of our contents on alloren.fm. We're also uh, go uh, download us on iTunes and Stitcher. I am Rob Mathias. And I am Shire Dude. And today we have two guests in our studio today. We have uh, Derek J of uh, Flaming Freedom. I want to set peace news now for you. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? And then we got uh, Cecilia Fairchild, and uh, you are up in uh, Porkfest, right? That is correct. Hello. Uh, hello. And uh, Shire Dude, which, wh- where, do we, where do we start off today here? Are we going with... Uh, well, first of all, if you go to ShireDude.com, you'll see a big Rebel Love Show button. You click that button, and boom, there are beautiful faces live on the cam for you to see. And we always broadcast every week on uh, our YouTube channel, which is uh, Rebel, uh, YouTube.com slash Rebel Love Show from shiredude.com right now and uh and you can also always go into the chat because shire dude you're uh, always monitoring the chat aren't you i am constantly in the uh, lrn.fm chat room uh watching for the trolls and the amazing troll questions that we get yeah so if you have a troll question for either cecile or derek uh now is the time to jump on that chat i'll and, read uh, pretty him. much anything on this and, and he does <laughs> and he really really does sometimes i get carried away with it to be honest but you know it's fun yeah, you kind of do get carried away with it sometimes. <laughs> That's true. It's just I um I really wish LRN newbie sixty six was my poly partner. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think if he had the opportunity, he probably would. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That guy. Uh, that guy. Uh, he loves you, man. <laughs> Though I think he has a fascination with me. His uh his comments. Uh, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek, do you have any really good trolls? You've been around for a while. Uh, running Wolfkin Poe is my favorite troll. You guys know yes. him from. It is uh, an honor for YouTube. him to uh, troll my YouTube channel. He yeah. started uh, trolling it like a year ago. He's I'm a like, pro. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty cool. Like you know, having those relationships with as a content producer, you know, you have those um, enemies. <laughs> 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 and it's pretty fun. Well, you've built up a lot of enemies though on uh, on Reddit. Yeah. On Reddit. Yeah. Did you ever see some of my stuff? Uh, like cop opens my car door went viral on reddit one time and the, the people were like look at the bunch of these neck beards rolling around not giving a cop their license and blah blah <laughs> you know it was uh it was a big thing i think i have more hate views on that video than than like views and i think i have more hate views in general <laughs> because it's a, it's a good but it's a good way to drive traffic it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah, yeah don't you have, like the most hate from the uh um from the crosswalk uh video yeah, I feel, but in in terms of numbers, like hundreds of thousands, uh, this has like half a million views, and it's oh, all wow. it's all negative. Um, cop opens my car door. If you if you uh, Google that, you'll find Cop Block uh, did a copy of it too. And this was a pullover right here in Manchester oh, by man. uh, by Officer Number One. That's <laughs> uh oh shoot, I've uh, spaced on his name, but he is Officer Number One. And he prided himself on that. He prided oh. himself on having the number one badge. I, I mean, I guess kind of. The way he said it was sort of like, yes. I, I was like, uh, Officer, what's your name and badge number? <laughs> he was, yeah. like, said, do you remember what it was, Cecilia? You probably remember this guy. I don't, I, he's been around. He's like a known officer here in Manchester. There are so many cops in Manchester. I mean, compared to Keene. Yeah, yeah, I know comparatively, but this is officer number one. This so is you one. Would, I you should would remember him. him. The OG? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? I'll get to know him eventually. He started the police department. Fact. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. That video's out there somewhere. Lots of hate. It's fun, okay. though. All right. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, well, let's, uh, let's jump into something that kind of broke this week, and you went down some New York doing some uh, uh, doing some uh, jury notification outreach during uh, uh, Ross Ulbricht's trial. Yeah, and uh, the whole thing broke with how the FBI was. Li- There's actually agents that were embezzling, stealing money from the, the funds that were stolen from Ross Ulbricht to begin with. Yeah, is that nuts? Yeah. Well, they already they stole it from him. I mean, from their from they're my already thieves. They're, right? they're already so- thieves. They already <laughs> stole all his Bitcoin. What's the difference if they steal it from the state and take it from themselves. It's just so crazy. Like that level of crime is is like I'm gonna commit a crime on top of a crime on top of a crime on to, it, like crimeception. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It really blows my mind that the the balls of these guys, these government agents, who are uh, you know, and also it's a testament to how valuable Bitcoin is. Like, oh yeah, Bitcoin's not money, and oh, we, nobody cares about Bitcoin. But here, these uh, guys are getting prosecuted for stealing bitcoins from the government, right? 
Well, was the government agents, were they like let go or like put on uh, uh, something like, uh, you know, sent home on like a vacation or something like that? I didn't read I the whole know. story on it. I don't know if they're still on the force. I doubt it. Yeah, I, I, I would assume if they're under investigation, they're like, man, why you should stay home, Johnson. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what their names are, but hmm. um, yeah, it's a pretty cool story. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy. Um I mean, because I don't know about you guys, whenever you're around other people, we kind of start talking about Bitcoin to like, you know, the, the normals, like people that you run into that aren't into. You're, the, you're talking about scene. muggles, right? Muggles. I mean, <laughs> some people aren't muggles, but, you know, they're just they haven't been woken up yet. Um, some people just are muggles and always will be. But anyways, okay, my eyes glass over anytime anyone starts talking about Bitcoin. Really? Yeah. Why don't you use Bitcoin? I just don't. You don't even use it? I have a paper wallet. I just don't have access to it. Why don't you have paper a digital wallet? wallet? <laughs> join the Because it join has the my t- name in the code and the address. That's, That's cool. cool. Okay. Well, why don't you get a, a digital wallet and yeah. start using Bitcoin? <sighs> you could get another one with your name and the address. It took three days to get this one. Then it'll take three days to get another one. <laughs> Yeah. I have a right? pi- like no big deal. I have a Piper paper wallet printer. I could print you one like right after the show. I have a paper wallet just with the push of a button. I oh, well, one. you could have a new one. Though. So wait a but minute. It one. seems like you don't like Bitcoin. It's no. It's it has nothing to do with not liking Bitcoin. <laughs> Why don't you like my friend Bitcoin? It. I just don't use it. That's all. Okay. It's yeah. It is kind of complicated to use. Like it's an extra effort, wouldn't you guys say? I mean, I can admit that it's an extra effort to use. We're Bitcoin like acquaintances. In a store. It, I'm well. cool with Bitcoin. <laughs> I'll ever. hang out with Bitcoin, but I just I don't want to get in bed with Bitcoin. The, uh, oh, all right. Yeah, my big problem with uh, with uh, Bitcoin is it's great to use it between other people that have that use Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Like that's simple. Um, it's getting people to jump on board with Bitcoin. It's kind of like you know. That's kind of the issue I have. Like yeah. I have no use for it with people outside of the community sometimes. We need all. like Coca-Cola style ads where everyone's, you know, drinking soda and having fun and sharing. No, it. They're like no, trading no. Bitcoins. It needs to be <laughs> Apple inspired uh, Bitcoin commercials. Oh, like dancing Apple. behind colors. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah but it'd be like, like a silhouette. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're <laughs> scanning, they're scanning uh, another person's <laughs> smartphone for uh, Bitcoin and whatnot. Yeah. I'd rather see little polar bears using Bitcoin in between each other. Like... You know, oh right, right, Coca Cola style. Yeah, okay. yeah, right. That could work. I, I would love to see uh, some sort of uh, a lot of Bitcoin marketing. Someone yeah. needs to, like fund that. You know, they wouldn't make any money off of it. But well, people have already done that independently. People. Um, well, wasn't there a, a um, an NCAA uh, football uh, game that was sponsored by like some yeah Bitcoin yeah. foundation? Like it was a Bitcoin bowl or something like that. Yeah, some BitPay minor- sponsored the uh, Bitcoin bowl and it was like one of those football national contests for college or whatever and no that i don't really pay attention to but it was a the goal was to like merge geeks and uh sports jocks uh, around the concept of bitcoin and get the word out there they easily could have called it the bit pay bowl right but they chose to call it the bitcoin bowl which i think you know is is nice of them to be like it's not just about us like uh, advancing Bitcoin is is good for them as a company, of course, but it's like bigger than them. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Uh, has there been any um, news Bitcoin like the cost of the go up or like it's been stagnant at like this price point for such a long time? Do you Around two fifty. Yeah. Is it like settling at this price or can we expect it to go up again? Now, you're more of the Bitcoin expert than I am. <sighs> Man, yeah, I do follow the Bitcoin news every day, but uh, as in terms of price, like I really don't know. I don't even make any estimates. Uh, I assume here's here's what I um, here's what the the facts tell me. Okay. Bitcoin is limited to 21 million, right? So these things, if they're valuable now, they'll be more valuable later. Very true. Well, I'm holding on to some of mine. We'll be back with uh, Mark, Derek, Jay, and Cecilia. Can, can the two of you get way just, closer just, together? Yeah. yeah Why don't you tell us on like, cam? Because we just or noticed that now. I don't want to say during the show. Like, oh, by the way, move that, closer. That would be totally different than right now when we're still broadcasting. Robbie, I want to turn my mic up a little bit. I was talking pretty loudly. It wasn't yeah, mine right. seems a little low, too. I don't know. Oh, no. Well, I haven't gone yet. Anyway. I just wanted to light a cigarette. It, looks a, it seems a little clogged through the... 
Wow. Okay, so um, add some stuff on. Looks there. like Ian Freeman's in the chat room. Woo! He says in all caps, "Love me." <laughs> I'm not sure if this is Ian Freeman, no. but no, L R N Ian is L F T L Ian. Yeah, <laughs> that's Ian. Yeah, and but I told him I loved him anyway, because you know. Oh good lord! Oh, Cecilia, you probably still have a, a what is that microphone next to your name, right, or a speaker that? in the chat room? Mm -hmm. You sign into yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's 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 pictures of Peter. This is this is he has this oh. on his wall. It's just lots of pictures of him. Wow, that's in one of the super secret super secret groups. Super secret groups. Over oh. here in the Shire. Well, don't tell me about it. We I shouldn't have even said group, the word. Wow. Or groups. That's against the the groups rules. <laughs> the first rule of group is don't talk about <laughs> it. Uh, woo! These are great. Can I get you some water? I have water. Water. Okay. Thanks. Um, we gotta. We should. We should probably jump into that. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot to talk about there. We should talk about how Shire dude shaved. Have you guys talked about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a shave? Yeah. I will bring that up. I'll ask what your opinion is. Yeah. All right. You great. should try to find out why he shaved. Why? Why? <laughs> Yeah, uh, the YouTube video is not going to look great. Your CPU is maxed out at 100% right now. Yeah. Do we? Ha is there anything else running on this thing? Do you think we should broadcast live on YouTube? No, you um, should. We need another computer. That's the problem. Like, this is, like, running at full capacity. Yeah. And okay. It's, just, it's causing the quality to go down. Get a cheap little computer. Hey, guys, uh, if you don't like the quality you're seeing, you can donate Bitcoin at shiredude.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll get a new computer. And it won't be maxed out CPU. So is this all fixed up somehow? It shouldn't be as clogged uh, inside. Over here, what do you got over there? Uh, we don't want that. Yeah, yeah right, Rob's so computer's been taken though. There's a lot going on in television. Talk radio and more. Way too much work. Freekeen.com. Alright, so what do you want? Vlogs. I'd, I'd say the well, after that, what do you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. You want to add anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, 420. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like I got another announcement, too, about um, my work. No, my work. Oh, you didn't bring Tylenol with you, did you? No, I thought about it, and then I was like, oh, no, I don't need that. Who needs that? Yeah. Me? Tylenol. I should have. I'm sorry. I use Motrin, though. It'll be fine. Yeah. Give it about an hour. Either that or I'll be going to the store. Okay. Um, yeah, if you need to, like, store jet, store you know, it's fine. It's cool. So, Corey Moore is going to be done, huh? Because there's, there's a store right across the street. Did you not hear so about that? No. Seriously? Down. Seriously, what are you saying? Ian offered us uh, a sex spot on LRN Friday nights because this this week is Corey Moore's last episode. We're not taking it. Don't even like get excited. Move. Oh no, no! Why would I want to be out on Friday day? No. I can't do Friday. Yeah, I do that super secret job that I don't we tell anyone about. I think next we need a show clock. <coughs> we seriously need a show clock. Huh? No, I always forget what time we. <laughs> Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show, and uh, we got uh, Derek J and Cecilia here hey. with uh, Shatter Dude Hi. and myself. Turn and, uh, me up. What? Turn me up. She, Turn you Cecilia wants to get turned up I tonight. I want to be louder. <laughs> this is go. my loud one. There we go. All right. That's yeah. so much better. Up, nice. All right. Okay. All right. You got any more compression you can add to Cecilia? <laughs> that would be fun, too. I'd compression? Does it make me talk. louder? Because I'm already yeah. loud. Yeah, yeah, but Jeez. it fills your voice out. <gasps> yeah. Oh, man. There yeah. you go. All right, sweet. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's sexy. Yes. So we got, uh, sorry, dude, we got some announcements, right? Yeah, Which man. Up first? Um, well, I should mention, I've been teasing this for so long, but the Alt Expo 16 videos are coming out. <laughs> this is what? Porkfest from last year uh, that coincided with Porkfest from last year. 
<laughs> all the alt expo speakers are really? being edited by yours truly and two videos are already available at shiredude.com right on the front page cool man wow. yeah they're all going to be in a playlist that'll appear there as they're uploaded so you just have to go to shiredude.com and you'll know you'll know if a new one's up i'll, I'll just keep doing them as quickly as possible well, it's about time like those uh all the expo yeah they got a <laughs> they have that they're actually coming Anything relative to a Porkfest talk that's yeah. coming out that, you know... They have an incredible backlog of videos that I'm, I'm trying to help out with. And uh, uh, and unfortunately, a lot of their footage is missing, too, which is Whoa, a huge really? bummer. Guys, if you're, if you're ever speaking at a Liberty Conference... Um, bring your own camera. Bring your own yeah. camera. Hire someone. Pay them 30 bucks to sit, you know, 20, 30 bucks, depending on the length of the speech, obviously, um, to sit there in front of you and, and film and just, you know... If they bring a tripod too, they don't even have to work the camera. They just have to point it in the general direction. No, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's uh, one thing I learned is like they, you can't trust the for them to record. You cannot it, trust the it. event to record for you. Ever. Is it, yeah, I mean, even like the official FSP Porkfest videos, like they don't come out. I mean, they rarely ever do. Yeah, they come out in like batches of thirty At eight, months, eight, months, eight later. months later. The one of the one Liberty event I've been to where the all the videos got out in a timely manner. Was Keenvention? Yes, I'll give them. Ian did a great job every week. It was like an, one episode, one uh, uh, talk that or, or the panel every week. It was one, and it was an order of when you went uh, of how they were recorded at Keenvention. Mm -hmm. So I'll give him. Yeah, he he did it good on that. But anything else, I've never. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him in uh, a good way come out. Ian amazes me that he can <laughs> do a, that. He put all those videos out and the, do all that. Yeah, that activism. That, that's a, it's that's crazy. a hell of a lot of work. Like he puts on Keenvention. Yeah, has all the videos recorded, edits the videos, puts all those out himself. <laughs> like Jesus, <laughs> I can't even put out this show in a timely manner. Like we still haven't released last week's episode. I know, I know, so. man. I've got ten podcasts on a backlog that I just like haven't gotten to. Uh, need to upload you no know, like things things that are uploaded but I haven't linked to on on my site and stuff you know they're online but still yeah like the dedication that that Ian and other people have too but like you mentioned the Keyvention videos and wow it's no. amazing to get those out yeah yeah but I've, I've become... and good for you Shire dude I'm sorry I'm I'm no, walking on. all over you but <laughs> good for you Shire dude for uh, getting those. Wow. Were you not the one? You weren't the one recording, but you are the mm. one editing. Correct. Yeah. Uh, several different people recorded. Cool. Um, yeah. Cool for you for stepping up too. Like, why can't they edit well, the I'm, videos? I'm, I'm getting paid by Alt Expo. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> right. There's some incentive there. So if I start to pay you for it's like this too, then oh, you'll no. actually edit those videos. <laughs> oh, is that what's going on? It's oh, been like man. a month since the last one. It's been Wait a, a really minute. long time. Yeah, I missed those. Yeah, Liberty I... Liberty Forum was the last one that came out what? right before Liberty Forum. Was... Yeah, right before Liberty Forum. Yeah. So why was, did they stop? That What's, was the Mateus one. I yeah. just I've been backlogged on like all my other projects. Too many things. There's I have See, too many things. Spread going too on. thin. You yeah. know, honestly, I don't care about all those stuff. I just want to know when is the when is the season finale <laughs> of Shire, Shire Dude, Dude coming <gasps> out. That's what I want to know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. It's going it to come out before Porkfest. I mean, absolutely. It will okay. absolutely come out before Porkfest. All right, because. Yeah. We've talked about this now for about. It's gonna be. It's been a Shire year at least, yeah. if not longer, <laughs> that we have discussed this. Well, he had time to shave his beard, right? <laughs> what do you think of that? I miss the beard personally. Well, I'm growing it back. I like Thank it. God. I commented, <laughs> "Don't hide a pretty face," <laughs> on his Facebook page when he posted this first picture. Uh -huh. He also posted a picture of himself from like 2012 or something. 2008. 2008. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. It was a real uh, trip back in time. And that was cool. And you look like your former self. Like you've yeah. got the little clean baby face. So it's, oh, it's pretty it's weird. It's cute. It's a trip. I don't know. I feel like um, <sighs> it's it's strange. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right word. I think it's called affectation when people treat you differently based on how you look. Um, for instance, if you wear glasses, they treat you like you're smarter, mm -hmm. right? If mm -hmm. you're blonde, they treat you like you have more fun. Yeah. That sort of thing. I feel like people are treating me a lot differently. How so? What? Yeah. So how do you think they're treating you? Um, they're treating me like I'm more like personable. Like they're, a lot of people are being nicer oh. to me, which I understand that beard is like a big, like people see that as like an aggressive thing. Mm -hmm. If you have a beard, they see you as an aggress, like a possible aggressor or like someone who's like really strong and you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I anyway, that. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah, heard yeah. studies that say that clean shaven people uh, are interpreted like the same face, clean shaven or bearded. Yeah. The clean shaven one uh, appears more approachable. Right, right. Um, 
and it's interesting. It's an interesting kind of loop when you think about it. Um, you get treated differently, and so then you might actually act differently because oh, yeah. you kind of like put out what you get in. Uh, yeah. Reality feedback loop. Right. Trippy. Beardception. Or no beard set. <laughs> well, I'm I'm looking forward to the beard coming back. I uh, like it either hard. way. You're no. growing it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm growing it back for pork fest. For pork fest, yeah. that's hot. It's it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Why would you want a beard for um, for the character? I you oh. know it's my it's my brand. It yeah. really is. Yeah, yeah. And it wouldn't feel right to be in a Shire Dude episode without the beard. It's cool that you did it though without telling anyone or talking it over. It's like some people are like, I don't know, show my beard. You posted like, on I'm Facebook. Gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cut my. You just did it, and you were like, here's the thing. Rob and was I'll here. Over with it. The, we were sitting here in the studio. Um, I forget. We were just just chilling. We're, we're always chilling in the studio. We're just chilling. <laughs> Well, in our living room. I know. And then, uh, yeah, I was just like, that's it. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you went up, and it was in, um, he kept doing it in uh, levels where he would just shave oh, a little bit. Then he, he, had a, he came out with a goatee. Yeah. No. And then he, Did you take pictures each time? I no, snapped I it a couple Hold times on. if I could. Oh, good, good, good. Do, can we see those? They, 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 disappear, <laughs> they disappear, man. You, you're not on my Snapchat. Snapchat. You didn't add me yet. You got to be a Snapchat. We're trying to that's right. I didn't. Activist. Sorry yeah. about that. It's okay. Our, I think no, I saw that. No, it's message. a Snapchat-tivist. Snapchat. <laughs> We're actually all Snapchat-tivists, right? Correct. I believe so. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't do very much. I can't. I can't say I really am. <laughs> <laughs> I stories sometimes. I think that's pretty cool. I actually did a. Uh, I have a weird uh, uh, playlist on my raw YouTube channel. Yeah. Where uh, I've downloaded some of my. Uh, Is it public? Yeah, it's public. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's absolutely public. It's so on there. V Rebel. Uh, it's V Rebel Raw uh, okay. on YouTube, uh, or you can just find it at uh, vrebel.com. And um, I have a playlist where I've downloaded some uh, some of the snaps because we've had some great snap wars and it's like just snapping like where we're going. Like like when I went out to ISFLC, I snapped a bunch from there and whatnot. I snapped uh, some from Liberty Forum as well. Uh, and there's a playlist on my channel uh, that I'll touch back with in a second, but. Uh, it's like watching the whole story because it's only eight seconds long. So it's like watching the same story as on your Snapchat, the autoplay. And we'll be back tomorrow. Snap activism. We'll come back. No. Oh, there you go. Just these. Oh, so those. Cecilia just got called the blonde bulldog of liberty. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's pretty intense. Can I have a computer to see the chat room with? You yeah, use your, use your smartphone. Dude, use your smartphone. I get it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, intact. Ha <laughs> ha Intact. You wanna you wanna open up with a uh um a freedom fiends thing? Meowing. Meowing. Yeah, you are wearing so a cat fun. shirt. Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the other after Liberty Forum. Yeah. All right, uh, Davi missed his. Uh, I know. Well, we picked up. We had him. We got. We got him picked up from the airport. We went to the Bitcoin meetup uh, here in no, Match with Davi Barker. That saved the day. Yeah. We took him to a Bitcoin meetup. We took him to a Bitcoin meetup. Hell yeah! Yeah, man. it was pretty oh, cool. Davi needs to move to Manchester or something. Yeah. Man. Like Davi is so cool. He's just stuck yeah. in California because of his wife right now. I think. I just. I don't know. Oh shit! My mics are on, right? Well, hopefully yeah. you can pick that up. But whatever. <laughs> I love Davi. Yeah, so do I. And I hope he moves here. Wow, yeah, it, was, it was pretty cool. And I can't imagine what would keep him except for a beautiful woman. Mom too. Um. He won't let that go, man. Ever. Who? Oh, you guys are sharing secrets over there. <laughs> it's in the chat. All right. I'm trying to sign into the chat. Do you guys have a Wi-Fi? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to secretly give me the password somehow? Can you mute us real fast? Can you put, you could just Yeah, I'm muted. Okay. Hold on. Go ahead. We're muted. Yeah, so it's Rebel Love Show, and then the password is show the love with uh It's numbers. a Rebel Love Pad, and it's show the love, but vowels, and, I mean uh, numbers instead of vowels. Numbers instead of vowels. Show the love. 
Got it. Okay, you can unmute us. Secrets are being told, guys. <laughs> secrets, secrets are no fun. <laughs> secrets, secrets. What comes after that? Uh. Okay. So anyway, add me on Snapchat, <laughs> folks. Uh, uh, my Snapchat is Andrew Meatloaf, which is just really strange because that's my old name. Meatloaf is your last old name. Actually, yeah, I'm related to the Meatloaf. The Meatloaf. Yeah. No oh, shit. You can add me. Oh. I'm Liberty CC. C E C E. So the thing is still it's a thing. So they can't really hear us very well. Say what now? This is still turned right so they can't hear us really well, or who can? Oh. They can hear this, right? They're gonna who? hear me. The, oh yeah, it's you. on YouTube. Yeah. They can hear this. Yes, that's like it's, it is live on YouTube. Hey, and what's yeah. the, no, they can uh, hear the, 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 the Oh, that's how I had my speakers up. That's all. Okay. Me, who got it? Yeah. Once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else I wanted to be. That's you. Is that you? Yeah. No way. No. Wow. Like, Six we should talk about moved. how OG Cecilia is. Yeah, she is OG. Because <laughs> she theory. was in um, Derek J's Victim's Crime Spree. Oh, hell yeah. Didn't I, you actually I, record some of Derek J's Victim's Crime yeah. Spree? Some of the A-roll, yeah. Wow. And you're in all over the bonus content, too. That's correct. Uh, yeah, Ellerin Newbie 66. It's actually Renee Free Cake now. Mm. Or just Renee Cake. She's paying attention Where? so much to us. Yeah, it's C-A-K-E Cake, okay. Renee Cake. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's your new name. That's your liberty name. Sure it's Renee society. Cake. Me? No, Renee. Oh, okay. It's okay. Renee. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. All right. All right. Oh, what comes back? My back's going to Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show. And uh, while we're getting a little intoxicated, well, I'm not, unfortunately, here. But uh, we got a couple other announcements to go over before we head on. Uh, we got uh, four, a bunch of 420 activism coming up. We got two two events, right? Yeah, man. Um, the cool thing is I have uh, I just kind of jumped on board with Rich this time around um, because I wasn't here for 420 last year. I got here right after 420. And um, I was really bummed that I missed it. So uh, I've been helping Rich uh, promote the 420 rally, like a whole bunch. We just got like over, a th we got a, a thousand flyers printed, like professionally mm -hmm. from uh, uh, Alexander Portelli. He's working with uh, the Printly, which is really cool. And uh, he sent us a thousand flyers for free. Cool. Oh, yeah. wow. I didn't know he did that for free. For free, which I thought was just a really stand up thing. For paid for. I like, I like to use the term paid for. Free is what you are. You're free. Yeah. <laughs> this is for paid for. For paid this for, because it was somehow, right? Okay. Like, there's no free lunch and all that. <laughs> I, but I think that's cool that he was uh, so generous. That was uh, really nice of him to print a thousand flyers for you guys. Right, right. Yeah, that's activism. That is activism. No, seriously. <laughs> if, they, if someone's donating money for uh, for activism to take place, yeah, absolutely, that's activism. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all pr to promote the 420 rally, which is we're all going to be in Concord. On 420, uh, at the, on the state house lawn, Woo! Uh, many of us are going to be smoking cannabis openly. Dun dun dun! Yeah, and uh, it's going to be. I'm going to be uh, live streaming actually at uh, shyadude.com on my Ben Beezer account. Do we have a? Uh, <laughs> I, I know I asked this last time, but I don't want to ask you, Derek. Do you know if we have uh, uh, how many state reps we'll have out there? No. Would they even say? Or I remember last year there's a couple. That were out there. There's at least one. Yeah. I only know Mike Sylvia. Yeah. He's the only one that I remember going out there. What about all these? He the, was he the one that about, sparked up last year? Yeah. yeah. What about all these uh, porcupine? Uh, right out in front of the state house. Yeah. Is that happening where you live? <laughs> like, <laughs> if not, move to New Hampshire where it is cooler. Like, that is awesome, right? Like a state yeah. smoking pot out in front of the state building. Holy crap. No, absolutely. Well, I mean, I know there are places where it's legal and all that. And that is cooler. Sorry, but that's freaking up. That's the place to be. But it's yeah, over there. Unfortunately, the good. culture hasn't caught up with pot in regards to the the state here. Well, so the it's amazing government hasn't caught up with the culture, right? Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're yeah. way behind. You know, but sometimes the, go ahead. The people here have balls. That's all I wanted to say. It's just that it's like that's that's one major difference that I really like. It's that they're they've got balls here. Oh, absolutely. And but. numbers, right? I mean, the more people what? you have out of a four twenty rally, the safer you are. 
Right. That's yeah. a good point. Some of us have vaginas. Yeah. Not everybody has balls. <laughs> yeah, there needs to be some sort of gender neutral term for Be bravery. <laughs> I guess bravery is the gender neutral term for that. I just saw a Betty White quote on Facebook today about why why do they say grow some balls when they want you to be like firm and like stand tough? They should say grow a vagina because vaginas actually take a pounding, whereas balls are really <laughs> sensitive and terrible. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Thanks, Betty White. Grow a there vagina. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to grow one. I already <laughs> has one. <laughs> You can get like an extra one, like on your elbows. Detachable? One? No. Elbows. <laughs> <laughs> get the ultimate workout. Well, can, they can already grow vaginas now, so you could. You but could on do elbows, that. Do that. why not? That's going to be a thing going up. Like you're going to see people like putting, uh, you know, whatever body part they want on their body. They're going to be able to completely modify their body in any way they I can. Can't wait in the future. Yeah. And then you can be like George Washington and have like thirty dicks. George Washington had thirty dicks. You, have you never seen this this video? <laughs> no. What are oh, you talking it's about? it's on the internet. <laughs> oh, it's on, oh well, it's, then I must have seen it. No, everyone has seen this video. Literally, it's not, from back in the day Washington, when everyone saw the Washington. same internet. Washington. It's hilarious. Oh. I've never seen. He'll it. save children, oh, but on. not the British children. <laughs> no. yeah, you'll you'll see. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. hilarious. All right. Well, I feel bad uh, for you. You feel bad? I haven't I seen Washington's yeah. thirty dicks. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, in the future, you're going to see like uh, technology get to the point where people can modify their body in any way they can. Mm. You know, I would uh, I would not let grow let my hair grow out. Uh, I mean, not go go away. I would have my beard the whole time. Hey, your beard's looking good. Thank you. I uh, I'm uh, I'm working on. It. I'm trying to get it perfect for pork fest. It's so. trimmed up nice. It it's is not scraggly or anything. You look like a uh, sailor. You know, sailor? you've got it. No, yeah, but not a sailor like lost at sea. You know. <laughs> One who's like, I'm a professional sailor. Look at my beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this is a professional sailor beard. Is what yeah, I would say, say I could see you on a yacht, you know, like you stand standing there in a cashmere sweater or something, you know. Yeah. Cashmere With your sweater. yeah, and your your chest hair. Popping well, I gotta out. have the chest. I always have the chest hair popping. <laughs> that's my that's my look, you know. I thoroughly right. enjoyed last pork fest. Each day, one button. Oh, if you would became <laughs> unbuttoned, <laughs> and by the end of it, it was just like completely open. You're just like. Well, See my, my chest hair, ladies. Yes. My goal <laughs> is to uh, have that multiplied even farther. I try. I plan to wear it at least. Going to go down to his pants this year. Are yeah. you going to implant more chest Ch hair no. and like have a bush? No. no implant no, no. chest. It, it, I've got. I've got it's enough. It's a thing. Chest hey, hair. if he wants to really? add more hair to his body, he can I, do that. I guess there's always a thing for that. Then. Everything's a thing. Wow. For more chest hair. Yeah. No. I'm always trying to remove mine. I'm. I'm against it. No, I love <laughs> I my chest, chest hair. No, I can't. No, it's oh, perfect. Okay. I hope I don't get raw any more or any less. It just stays. There. Do you trim it? No. You what? I don't. You trim don't. It. I don't it's trim. a I don't great. Length. I don't touch my chest. Good hair at for all. you. Yeah, I don't shave Very it a little nice. bit. I don't trim it. Some guys try. have. Some guys it benefit from sh from trimming it well, down. Th there's some guys that get like way too hairy where mm -hmm. it's just like <laughs> fur coming out of like their like by their neck. You know, <laughs> for that, like, I'll help customers and like they'll come up to my at my job. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> It'd be all over the all over the place. Sometimes those are the people that need to trim for the or next wax oh. for the next show we do. I want to make a shot that's just of your chest hair, and we'll cut to like the chest cam. What do you think yeah, about the that? Chest cam. Yeah, the chest <laughs> I cam. like it. Yeah. Well, we do have a cam right here on the on the laptop that could be. Oh, the we chest could cam. we could even use that one if I get a good good enough zoom. But yeah, the chest cam. It could help on YouTube vid uh, hits or less. <laughs> we might lose subscribers if we do no, that. No, you'll get a, a certain demographic of yeah. subscribers probably. We'll just yeah. find a new niche. <laughs> a new niche. Yes. Well, at any rate, if you like that, my whole goal is to uh, – I'm, I'm going to try and start working out again. So I can All right. get, get in shape by pork fat. So you can just walk around naked? Well, I would, but they probably would, you know, force me to wear a loincloth or something like the guy last year. So I mean, they probably want you to stay out of, like, the family Was that area. a forced loincloth? Yeah, yeah, no. It yeah, was, wasn't it? No, 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 no. He, no, it wasn't? He, he wore that in, like, protest because he was wearing normal clothes the rest of the time. That guy, I interviewed him on Peace News, so you can go back and, and listen to this episode from um, Porkfest of last year. But he was saying how... Uh, how offended he was that that woman was told to put a shirt on when she was topless at pork fest and how he felt like if it's going to be a free place like with freedom and living in libertopia like voluntary society and all that then like who are you to ask me to put a shirt on my naked body you know but like the argument was so well there are kids and we're not at the voluntary society yet and it makes people uncomfortable so 
you know, these are the rules that we want to have for this thing. Well, he, in protest, uh, wore, like was basically naked the next day, even though it was pretty uncomfortable to be because it was kind of drizzling a little bit. Yeah, if yeah. You remember? that day. Yeah, and, but he wore a loincloth, which I thought was pretty rad. And I, I assume he was going to do some sort of greater protest, but dialed it down a bit. And that was the right, right choice. It was cool. I Everyone just want to know, message. where did he get the loincloth? Maybe he had it with him. <laughs> like Maybe that's yeah. just in case. Maybe it was yeah. his big gay dance party outfit, and yeah. he just broke it out early. That's that is a good theory. I like that one. Because I'm smart. What's <laughs> your big gay dance party outfit this year, Cecilia? You always get a lot of yeah. rainbow stuff. Um, You're good with rainbow. So I normally don't talk about my outfit beforehand. Oh, okay. I like it to be a surprise, but I'm really pretty excited about this one. Um, Carla, or, um, Colleen Gallick, uh, you know her. Yeah. She makes my outfit every year for me. Uh, really? Does it ball? Yeah, does cool. it by hand? Just yeah, we do measurements, all that stuff. I tell her what I want to do, and she makes it for me. That's cool. Um, so she's gonna be doing this year again, and I'm gonna be strawberry shortcake. Whoa, what? cool! But it's gonna be her. um big giant curls. Yeah, that's gonna be really. cool. And I cool. found this awesome headband that has like an actual strawberry shortcake on it. And the outfit's going to be similar to the ones in the past with, like, the corset tutu kind of thing. Yeah. I'm really excited for it. I'm going to have leggings. It's I'm excited. That's fun. It's a good time. I got to come up with a costume for Pork Fest. What was the name of the little guy from Strawberry Shortcake that they just scolded for being so lame all the time? Not the same. You just rode around on the skateboard, and they're like, oh, stop doing that. You're terrible. Um, okay. I don't even know what Strawberry Shortcake is. Oh, yeah, I should probably explain how I know what that is. <laughs> it will, we get that. <laughs> Little sisters. Uh, we, got to, we forgot to do meowing. Oh. <laughs> well, we can we'll meow, meow at any given time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is this the long break? Yeah, say worms, though. Yeah. Right afterwards. Yeah. Break, yeah. We did that actually a couple weeks ago. Oh, cool. But it's, it's still cool to do it every once in a while. Yeah. Especially considering you co-host that a lot. Yeah, every Sunday night. How much how much podcast do you do? You're like on everything. I am. I know. It's really fun. <laughs> it's like, where do you find the time? I make the time because this is what I want to do. I get that. This is what I love. It gives me my energy. Like, when I can do nothing else, when I'm not feeling good or whatever, I'm like, oh, it's time to do the show. Got to do the show. That's fun. I like it. I f this is this takes more time than... I don't know. I couldn't do another f <laughs> two hours. Like, what, this is, like, pushing my limit. What I don't like doing is editing and posting. That's what I delay on. Yeah. I love to broadcast. And, right. And um, do shows, but yeah, it's, it's all the work things. behind after that. That's just like it's harder to do. Yeah, I feel like I finally become an adult. I drink wine now. Cool. Oh, adult. All right. Where's the lighter in it? Right Here behind it is. the lighter. There you go. Oh yeah. Were you saying was that clogged or are we good on that? Yeah. All right. Still looks a little. <gasps> cool. This is uh, why we have long clogged. breaks. Want <laughs> me to reload this here? Is it empty? Uh, there's still a couple of hits left. Okay. It's, go ahead. All right. It's got like a clog now. Right? Oh, it's it. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. You just want to walk on and clog <laughs> it if you want. Yeah, I could try. So, how long? Is this two hours? Two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, We're already we still have through. five seconds. Okay. So, there's still time to talk about things. I thought we were running out. About what? Still time to talk about things. We have four seconds. Over 9,000. Well, we just said three, didn't we? Four. We, just do four? we did three segments. Fourth one's coming up. Yeah, so there's five more. Oh wait, total five. This is the long break. I thought this. It's no. ten forty-five. So we're coming up in a few more minutes. Oh, you're right. Yeah, okay, the long break is at right. like uh, ten fifty-seven. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, I shouldn't have challenged. Should never challenge <laughs> the Sicilian. The Sicilian. The Sicilian. The, the Sicilian. This is, this is a new term to me. I did not. Yeah, it's a new term Cicilin. to me too. Okay. What's this all about? It's not a name. Is there black on my lip? I lip I licked no. this earlier. And <laughs> this is black. Hey, so yeah, like, can you grab the paper? Resin, like, yes. this. I know, exactly. Yeah. That's okay. I don't want to. Sorry. I didn't clean. I, yeah. I cleaned up in here, but not the, not the bong. I apologize. That's okay. You don't have to pop. Yeah, oh, should, my God. <laughs> I should just go ahead and pour a lot Please. in here. So I, I just want to do it right, you know? I don't want to put this back in your thingy and... A reboot of Strawberry Shortcake. No, I never heard of that one. 
What? Another one? Oh, well, my little sisters watched Strawberry Shortcake, so I don't know if maybe that was the reboot. Okay. I have three uh, half sisters. Yeah, there's oh. a there's a Strawberry Shortcake reboot. It's stupid. Was they it did the same thing with Rainbow Bright. Stupid. Everything. If you're gonna be Strawberry Shortcake, what does that make me? That's what I want to know. Whatever you want to be, dear. Whoa. What I'm gonna be doesn't define you. You're your own person. Yeah, but you know, it's like if. Do if you, do you Rob is if Rob is Mark Edge, then I mean Freeman, right? No, That's what but I'm going for that kind of. But who you are isn't defined by who I am. Like X over Y Mark equals Z over really W. Mark you know, you, know you what can you can be your maybe own person. Ian's. We've actually been called different ones by different people. Yeah. Tell him he's. His so own sometimes person. I'm a little Mark, and sometimes he's a little Ian. What? Tell him he's his, his own person. No, I am. I'm just trying to get. <laughs> I'm playing the game of comparisons. So do you do you want me to come up with a costume for you? I'm just, I'm just, I'm playing the game of comparison. So yes. Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show. We're talking pork fest, big PPA, big party, uh, all that fun stuff. It's the last one this year. They say that. She says it every now and then. She did actually skip a year and Flaming Freedom did it. Well, that's, that's what I want to say. Like, even if it is uh, Buzz's last one, there's still going to be other ones after that. Someone will pick up the mantle. You know, it's not going to be, you know. <clears throat> Derek. Yeah, Derek. No. <laughs> why not? Why not? Too big a responsibility. I'm there to dance, not put on a dance party. I want to go crazy. Too big a responsibility. Yeah. I want to go crazy. I want to so, have fun. That's that's a fun heaven thing for me. I mean, someone else. I, I, I put on a dance earlier this year yes and you put on a great dance party thank by, you. The, by the way i wanted to thank you for that party hey, i no no i went to derek's original dance party uh -huh. oh mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. the disastrous dance oh party. my god it was <laughs> my first interaction with cops and i'm like yelling at them because they're hurting my friend it was yeah. so traumatizing you have the best sound bite on the uh derek j's victimless crime spree promo trailer of like are you kidding me yeah right uh, where you're talking to the the police there uh, at this live for your dance party, um, a dance party that I used to throw in Keene, New Hampshire, that uh, where I got arrested. It was a sad day. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it's so weird, like that uh, they're talking about that. That happened like years ago or whatnot, and that ha that that's like all the history that happened before either one of us ever moved here. Yeah, I mean, they're they're talking about something that turned into a video that we watched that made us decide to move here. Yeah. Yeah. And what's funny is that about that is there's people who moved here that got us to move here, and there are people who moved here that got them to move here, like Cat Canning and Russell Canning. Do you know anything about them? I know that uh, they inspired Ian. They're straight they? OG. Yeah. They're like early adopters. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Like, there's, a, there's always like these waves, and you know something you may do will inspire someone else, that will inspire someone else, and inspire someone else, so forth and so Yeah, on. everybody has oh, like yeah. their own class, like people that move around the same time, they kind of connect, and they form... Bonds and whatnot. Derek and I moved around the same time. Yeah, you got though, here a little bit. Though what's fascinating is like also like yeah, there are those. Like, it's kind of like um, looking at uh, the FSP community in general, the poor community. Uh, you see, uh, it's almost like looking at the rings of a tree. Like generations. The, the generations of movers that come in. And they all kinda, young kids. They all kind of they they all kind of have like their old uh, their their ways and exactly like old kids. Yeah, back in my day, you know, you young whippersnappers, you don't even know what it was like when the forms were around. You know, like stuff like that. BBSs? BBSs? I don't know what the hell a BBS is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, for me, like, I try to, like, uh, I don't just associate with the, all the, just the new movers. You know, I try to associate with everyone. But, I mean, I think we've both done that pretty well. Some people don't, though. Are you, talk are you talking to me? No, yeah. I'm talking oh, about Because I have a general. vagina, so it's very easy for me. People are like, oh, hey, hi, yeah. Let me tell you about Bitcoin. Have you heard about this? Bitcoin is this? Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did that really happen? Is that based on a true story? Uh, Scott Biddle did it once. Oh, <laughs> legit! Every time I go to a new movers party, some new mover wants to tell me about Bitcoin. I'm like, yes, I have been here three and a half, almost four years. I know what Bitcoin is. I knew what Bitcoin was before you were even in diapers. Every time there's a new movers party, uh, a lot of times whenever a new mover. I always ask them, have you ever seen, like, I, how they're excited that there's Bitcoin and whatnot. I always ask them, have you ever seen a Bitcoin transaction in person? 
So I'll go down. I'll go downstairs and I'll just buy a beer and I'm like, hey, I just bought one in Bitcoin, or I'll I'll use the ATM or something like that. And they're like blown away, like, oh my god, like I can't believe that this is a thing that people do this. Da da da. That's like, a puppy. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a puppy dog that comes in like, oh my god, people are using Bitcoin. You guys are puppies at Porkfest. You were my little puppies. You guys are all like, what are we doing? It's Porkfest. I'm like, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> Just come with me. It's all right. Let's go hang out at the saloon. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, the Satoshi Saloon. I love the Satoshi Saloon. I love Mon Pa. It's coming back. Yeah. Oh my god. Except it's going to be the Soul Loon. Have you heard about this? They changed it? Yeah, I think they're doing like Satoshi. Soul Food. So it's still the Satoshi Saloon, but it's Soul Loon. That's oh. funny. Okay. It's a very silly play on words. I can't wait. I can't. Whatever they're planning is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, like it was, my, one, of the, it was yeah. one of the best spots on uh, in Agora Valley. Yeah, it yeah. was that one spot where we'd all meet up. Yeah, it was like we had. It's if weird. We got separated. <laughs> yeah, we would. Uh, that's where we we always uh, like. For me, I always I just called it walking to be. I just kept going campsite to campsite. I would come back around, and the Satoshi Saloon was always my like return spot. And I'd always regroup with someone, and then we'd head out, and then we'd come back somehow and meet up at that location and go back out again. That was like my entire pork fest. Pretty that, much. That is pork fest. Yeah. And then, you know, on Friday, you go to the Big Agnes party. And Saturday, you go to the Freedom Feud thing. Yeah. Whatever that is. Family Feud. Family they Feud thing. The party. Yeah, the Saturdays. party. That was a uh, It was kind of before. last year. There was a whole bunch of teeny boppers. Like, all the kids came down. It was weird. It was. Did you not go? No, I walked what through party it for was a little this? bit. The Unz party? I was in. Oh. It was, it was, there was children everywhere. I poked my head in for a minute, and it looks really cool. Chill with glow sticks. Yeah, wasn't it really dark? Super and foggy. Of, uh, yeah, very, yeah, very fog foggy. Machine. Yeah. Yeah. They, they had a really good setup for that party. They did? Yeah, no, amazing. they did. A bunch of strobe lights and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, par- speaking well, of we, part. We have to thank Mike Vine for doing that, because he brought that back at Porkfest 10. So thank you, Mike Vine. Wow. Brought what back? Bro, what back? The Unz party. Oh, that I, you know, I didn't know. That I didn't know he was such a wild that card. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great that he could bring something like that to the table. Man, I'm I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Um. But anyway, speaking of parties, uh, I want to thank you personally for oh. the uh, the um Halloween uh, dance party. Oh yeah. Because that is where <laughs> uh me and my uh my rebel mistress got back together. Oh. We That's where we got back together. It was a keyvention miracle. <laughs> Uh, I've seen pictures of you two dancing there together. That's cute. Yes, that was when we uh, started talking and whatnot. We started wow. dancing. Yeah, that we we rekindled our relationship at that dance party. All right. Yeah. I drank cool. an entire bottle of wine at that party. Hell like yeah! Like a one point seven five. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Oh, I, I drank. I lost track of how much I drank that night. I only know because I bought the bottle and drank it all in one night. Ah. that's what you do. Yeah, but uh, I always have. I will always have like a, f- a very favorable moment of. Uh, convention because of that party. So, Aww. Yeah. That's so thank you very much for. I don't. You didn't do it on purpose for that. I'm just saying that happened because of I'm your so party. glad that it, it was uh, possible to make magic happen. You know, the convention Halloween party or whatever was really just my uh, my constant attempt to have a dance party <laughs> in Keen <laughs> 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 keeps getting thwarted. Uh, hmm. But I finally did it. You doing? Are you doing the next? Uh, is it too soon to talk about that? What next convention? Are you going to do another one? No, I'm no. not planning another one. Why not? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, we will. We started talking about having another one like immediately after. Mm-hmm. But right now, I don't want to think about it. It <laughs> is. I guess it is too soon. Way too soon. Yeah. <laughs> we have yeah, to we... get through Pork Fest first. Yeah. Right. And then the Free Coast Fest. And then it's Keenvention. Yeah. I'm, I may just go to the... Uh, are they going to do a pub crawl again for the Free Coast Festival? I don't know. I'm not involved in that no. one. I'm... I'm doing Pork Fest, man, not the Free Coast. Oh, that's right. You're doing Pork Fest. Uh, that's why you're here. You're talking about the talk about Pork Fest. You're doing some you're organizing for Pork Fest, aren't doing you? Doing Pork Fest? Yeah, She's doing I'm doing good too. I'm the the lead coordinator for Agora Valley this year. Coordinator? What's yeah. What's Agora Valley for the listeners who don't know? So Agora Valley is like essentially the downtown marketplace of Pork Fest. It's where all the vendors sell uh, lots of different items from food items lunch dinner late night to goods and services in the past there's been people who do tattoos uh who do a massage sell soap and natural products and uh this year there's going to be a couple fresh markets with people selling fresh food so you don't actually have to like go go to town and buy stuff at the store you can just go down to your little market and get your little things and go make your food for you so it's essentially like the downtown i mean people do vend at their own sites and other places but if you want to make money 
vending, you should probably be in Agora Valley because that's where everyone's going to go. That's where they know to go. What are the prices for vendors there? Um, so there's three different packages. Each package includes uh, a site for the week in Agora Valley. Um, and the food vending packages include two general mission tickets. And the goods and service package includes one general mission ticket. And the goods and service one, that's like dry goods. So like prepackaged foods, you're not actually preparing anything. And then, you know, services and whatnot. Um, that's 350 for the whole week. That includes a ticket and the site and everything. Um, and then returning food vendors are, are 399 And new food vendors are 499 So it's a little bit more expensive if you're a new vendor. But once you get your licks in, then you're all set. Okay. Well, it's actually a pretty good price if you think of how much they'll make, plus the the fact that they're getting that ticket. Yeah, you're you're essentially you're paying for the site and the ticket. It's just all bundled together, and we're doing placement instead of instead of uh, Rogers to make things a little bit more smoother, a little bit more cohesive. Like there have been a number of people who have contacted me that they want a site for like vending, and then they want another site next to it to stay at. And I'm suggesting to them they get a site outside of Agora Valley because we really just want Agora Valley to be the vendors. Yeah. We want every single site to be full of vendors so people can, you know, support the Agora. Well, if you haven't been to Porkfest, Agora Valley is where it's at every if you, night. If you want info, you can go to porkfest.com. Porkfest.com. Go buy your tickets, people. Do it. She just wants to be near you. Listen to it now. Can you not hear me coming through at all? No. Nope. Not at all. Does it the hand thing? Not this at all? What's this do? Uh, Did you do that? Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. Sorry. Okay, so this has a little hey. dial. Mm. This is a long break. Still Can I buy uh, four for three? Four for three? Uh, right? Cool. Awesome. I like that little dial. Mike, you should just email me. Okie dokie. Oh, I packed this, but I wasn't passing it around during the I know, why, show. Why, I was so confused. Sorry doing? about that. It's okay. Why did I delay? I don't, I don't know. It was packed and ready. You're just starstruck from being on the Rebel Love Show. I understand. I and I was confused and I was engrossed. And hearing it was three ninety nine for returning vendors, ninety nine for new vendors. Sounds like manageable. Like that's what it, I. Th I don't know. Taylor and daughter from Africa. <coughs> <coughs> I want to be back on the air in Africa. Jesus. <coughs> <coughs> Would you say you want LRI to be back mm. on the air in Africa? Yeah, I'd like to be back on the air in Africa. I would too. I was really glad that all the things I was saying on plating freedom no. were going through with in, like Cameroon put in time out. and wherever else. Wow. Yeah. This is your fault. Just now? Um, it wasn't like that when I checked a few days ago. It's so raunchy. I've been waiting for it. I just it. feel like it's so forbidden. What it is, is all your broadcasting fault. in Africa? Crazy kids. We're talking about like gay sex and stuff. Mm, gay sex. Some oh, places no. in Africa, you get killed for that. That's true. <laughs> you know? I, I didn't even think about that. That's very, very true. So it's pretty revolutionary for a place like that. I can't get over this. The who is the guy that does the uh, like announcing for LRN.fm? Um, Zeus. Zeus? Yeah. Okay. Every time it goes, you know, uh, the the second half of the Rebel Love Show. Yeah. You're like, <gasps> me? Like, it is pretty cool. I like when he, he sends a uh, piece. Of now back to Ladies in Key. Yeah. Ladies in Key. Oh, hello. <sighs> used to call my listeners lickers. Liquors? Ladies and King, lick. Liquors. Huh? We, have oh, liquors. we have rebel lovers. Mm. Rebel lovers. Liquors. Hello, my rebel lovers. I had liquors. Hmm? Just, I, I had liquors. Rebel liquors? No, when I did Ladies and King, yeah. Ladies and King, lick, I called them liquors. Oh, uh, that's so good. Mm hmm. You're that's jealous. So I can so see it on your face. When are you going to start it back up? What? Ladies and Mitch. Uh. No, Ladies and no. Ranch. When when I move and when Melinda moves, we're gonna have the Liberty Vagina Hour. We talked about this last time. I know. 
I'm, I want an update on it. LVG. Can you have MVG on LVG? Who? MVG. Uh, yes, I will have the Von Glutenberg. Glutenberg. No, Von Glutenberg. 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 Matthias Von Glutenberg. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hello. I might actually get coffee this time, guys. You're the coffee. Get coffee. Get, get, get coffee. What? Come on, baby, make me sweat. I'm up all night to get coffee. I'm up all night to have fun. What? What's going on? What? We're singing songs, but we're placing words and things. My headache is feeling Coming better. Coming out? My head is feeling better. Ooh, can, mm, oh, good. No. Headache is going away. What? I think it's just because I didn't eat all day. Cigarettes help. Mm. Yeah, cigarettes <laughs> help so much cigarettes with headaches, and so does drinking wine that dehydrates you. Yeah. All of this stuff is the bestest. You want to take a picture of the guys? <laughs> Too cool for school. Cool. Wait, wait, let me get this. this my screen's in the way. It's like messing up the shot. Thanks, guys. Thank you. No. Thank you for looking that beautiful. Mm, my <laughs> pleasure. Andre keeps asking me when there's going to be another gay dance off. These he guys, won, that's it. What's he, who's he challenging next? <laughs> you should, He's like, who would there be for Keen? I was like, well, Derek's there. <laughs> he already beat me. <laughs> He's a good like, dancer. He's so good. I yeah. know, it was great. And they, like, meticulously they practiced. Yeah, they planned w more than once. <laughs> <laughs> they legit practiced with, for more than half an hour. With a team that showed up. <laughs> I was there. Oh, yeah, you were totally there. You were uh, like, hey, you sleeping on the couch there. Yeah. You want to be my partner? Yeah. What? Thanks, okay. Thanks for saving the day. Yeah. Um, yeah, there were a couple members of my keen team who didn't show up. <laughs> didn't show ah, that's up. whatever. It was it was a fun little time. We danced and had Correct. fun. We still have to do a, a DDR dance off. Oh my god! You know those DDR pads are still in the basement of the CAC. I know. Can, so maybe the next time you're in Keen, do you want them? Uh, do you see a? T I don't have a TV. <laughs> I have nothing to hook them up to. Are you a member at the place? Do you yeah. Want to donate them to that. Donate place? them to there. Do they have? Oh that'd, cool. oh, that'd be cool to do it on the projector. Yeah, they could totally use those. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, okay. we could do that. Those pads are so slidey. No, they're metal. Oh, those are the best because the, the plastic ones are so the only ones to yes. use. Exactly. I'm not going to exactly. play with those other ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you can have some coffee with your coffee for flavor for idea. Right. Danke. It's just coffee. Coffee, coffee and the coffee with cough, cough, coffee. No dog. I heard you like the coffee. I'm in love with the coffee. I'm in love with the coffee. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Frappuccino. I got frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I, uh, I, did you see my Snapchat of her this, uh, this afternoon? <laughs> I off. Snapchat her wearing a Shire Dude hoodie, Oring. listening to Glass Animals yeah. while ordering like a crazy Starbucks drink. She's gone full manch. I know, right? We haven't even talked about you going full manch yet. Mm. I knew it. She just wanted to be a whore. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that? I don't mind. I don't mind either. I know you don't mind. <laughs> Derek doesn't even know. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. You don't even know. There you go. The, ca the Cameroonians look forward to flaming freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Legosi. That's funny. I, I forgot they can hear me doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the chat room. <laughs> I love doing. I love being in the chat room when I was on Lazy King. It was so much fun. Cameroons. Why are you guys talking about Cameroons? <laughs> I, did I miss that? Africa. <laughs> yeah, because we're not in Africa. So how are the Cameroons gonna watch Flaming Freedom? <laughs> <laughs> Who can hear us right now? Hey, everyone listening on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. 
I'm dying. I just imagine a show like that rocking people's worlds. <laughs> Back to the Rebel Love Show. We are broadcasting here out of uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. We got uh, Derek and Cecilia on the show today. Yo, hello. And uh, we we're talking. Uh, let's uh, let's talk. Let's, we we're kind of discuss it during the break. But uh, Cecilia has you've got a full manch. Full manch. What does that even mean? I know what, what full keen is. Well, what's full keen? Let, 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 for the audience at home, the, the, uh, the jogger that, uh, that discovered this podcast somehow. If you, if you carry chalk in your car, you've gone full keen. <laughs> 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 okay. What else? Shire what? dude looks guilty. That was that. me sharply <laughs> inhaling, by the way. <laughs> if, you, if you keep a roll of dimes in your vehicle so that you can Robin Hood, you've gone full keen. If you yeah. have more literature in your car than you have trash, you have gone full keen. This is how you go full keen. Oh. I'm really close to this. W- yeah, would you say Shire Dude is more full keen than full man, or is he more full man than full oh, I'm keen? defining both. Well, he's he's more full keen than I am, and I live there. That's <laughs> true. He is very, very full keen. Well, Keen brought me out here, right? Like, Keen inspired me to come out here. So. No, he, this guy brought you out here. No, yeah. Keen is bigger than me. Just Derek. You but inspired yeah. him with your oh, movie. Oh, thank you. Derek though. was the ringleader with the movie. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what is full manch? What is this? How would how would you describe full manch for uh, full manch? Yeah. If you hang out in a basement, in a smoking um, room, more than seven nights a week, <laughs> 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 you've um, gone full manch. I have a job. Um. Let's see. Are you. What? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, manch. Uh, don't have a a. a uh, a thing of not having a job. Well, some do, some don't. There are a lot of studios in Manch, like there living room are, studios. Yes, there are a lot of podcast studios in Manchester, all over. We the place. need more podcasts. We do. No, I'm kidding. No, no more. We need more. I, what I want to do is like a five-hour podcast, like daily. I just want a five-hour format, just for those people who just can't get enough. PFG. What would you talk <laughs> about for five hours? Yeah, PFG podcast. I Howard start Stern does five hours. <laughs> yeah. What? Howard Stern does five hours. He has five oh, hours every day. Daily? Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He wow. does a weekday show. Poor guy. No, he does that voluntarily. And I think that's cool. Like, yeah, you can fill five hours. There is stuff well, how, to do well, and Derek, talk about. Derek, we were talking about it earlier. You do a lot of podcasts. Yeah. Like, how many podcasts do you do now? Right per, now, four. four. It used, it is it used four to, per week? Yeah. Every week, because I do, I host f- uh, Freedom Fiends every Sunday night, freedomfiends dot com. Worms. I am a co-host on Free Talk Live every Monday nights, freetalklive dot com. I host Cop Block Radio on Wednesday nights, and that's copblock dot org. And I host Flaming Freedom. A gay anarchist talk show Where you on show Thursday off your nights. Every episode, we show off our underwear. So sexy. <laughs> Sometimes it's sexy. Sometimes it's really plain and boring, and it makes you feel like we're all just in this together as humans, right? We all wear underwear. Some of us. Usually, I. If don't. you don't, not when I'm doing really? the show. Really? Not when I'm doing the show. We were talking. You're not about wearing underwear right now. <laughs> I go commando for the show. A few episodes it's ago, we were talking about this, and we we're like, "Hey, are we going to show our, our underwear like Flaming Freedom?" And then we realized <laughs> that none of us were wearing underwear. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you and, animals. And this is on YouTube, so we couldn't uh, show. Yeah, <laughs> I guess not. Yeah. I love it when when your underwear matches something else in your outfit. You specifically. Oh yeah, I yeah. do that usually. You did at Liberty. What am I doing today? You want, you want to sh- you want to you want to <laughs> do a little flaming freedom for the camera? Sure, I don't mind. There you go. I've got um, black underwear on today. Black, black is very underwear. slimming. Yeah. <laughs> I love this capture. <laughs> this is awesome. Get get for, for the get listeners naked. not watching the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Jay is now stripping in the Rebel Love Studios. He's like full on take his clothes off. Mm-hmm. I know. Are you gonna get like in uh, your skivvies and just do the show in that? I'm just gonna let him keep going. Yeah. At this point, I have no it's Derek J. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I 
I just, you, how do you follow that up? God damn, I, I, I love Twinkies. <laughs> I can't follow that up. <laughs> I, I can't this, at all. No, I like this thing for Twinks, and Derek just does it, man. <sighs> Jeez. Mm. Mm. He pulls it off. He definitely pulls it off. Well, that is a good reason to watch Flaming Freedom every week, sir. I am. I. Uh, that's a. If that's not a reason Thank to you. watch, I don't know what is. It's so hot in here right We're now. We're all verklempt. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, full manch. Uh, what yes, is this? full manch. What is this? If you show your underwear in a studio <laughs> on a YouTube broadcast, you might have gone full manch. If you uh, if you have more than one partner, you're probably full manch. Hashtag polyamory. Yeah. Mm. That's. Then, so then yes. Then yes. Oh. I have I have gone full manch. Oh my. Yeah. That's a thing. Mm. That is a thing. Mm-hmm. Um. What what else would uh, characterize a someone that's full manch, or dude? Full manch, it's a tough one. If if you uh, we have like meetups, like a bazillion meetups every week. That's true. There's always some social thing going on yeah. literally every day. I'd say if you if you go to like more than two meetups in a week, you're probably going full manch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say that too. That's fair. Yeah, no, it is fair. Mm-hmm. That's very fair. Um, if you. Uh, what else? I guess if you uh, what, for, see, you're kind of, you're very more full keen than full manch. I don't, I don't know. know. I do a lot so, of both of these things. Yeah, you're you're on both sides. You know, you're on a whoa. Yeah, where does that put me? I don't know. Milford, right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Hanukkah. You're in Hanukkah. Hanukkah. <laughs> you can go live with the chickens. <laughs> right. I've have, I have yet to make it out there. By the way, to Hanukkah. Me yeah. either. To the domes. I've never seen them. It's yeah, a nice I've property. I've never been there either. Honestly, yeah. I didn't ever went out there until uh, Antigone had moved out there. Until they took over, yeah, I've never because it used to be it used to be like the crazy wild sex orgy party domes, Ooh. and now it's not now. Now hate fuck lives there. Can I swear? Oh. Is that like a thing? Yeah, That's quite all right. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, no, no, you can you can swear. I'm not gonna censor you. Good. Yeah, but no, I haven't made it out there yet. I plan to at some point during the summer. But there's chickens. There's chickens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kate's chickens. Oh, that's yeah. Not, okay. All right, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's uh, move on to something else here. Okay, uh, we didn't finish some other updates uh, besides uh, the 420 activism that's coming on Concord. We're doing uh, we're going to do oh, a pub crawl. Yeah, speaking of full manch, I guess if you like throw together a pub crawl like in a night, then you're uh, you've gone full manch. And it, it happened. It, it's a 420 pub crawl that actually over that. Uh, this is insane. Goes into a Bitcoin meetup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> The day starts at 4.20 in uh, Veterans Park in Manchester, New Hampshire, where we'll be uh, smoking up at 4.20, and then it goes right into a pub crawl, and we just start going uh, to all the bars on Elm Street, and remember those thousand flyers that we have for the 4.20 rally in Concord, well, we can promote that on this bar crawl, like, as we go along, we, as you know, as we go through the different bars. the different uh, peop- uh, patrons at different bars with 4.20 uh, flyers. Yeah, and so this, the bar free. crawl is on, is on the 12th, so that's, you know... Perfect. Yeah, it's it's perfect timing. Before. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna go a bunch of different bars. You're gonna be able to buy some pints at Murphy's with Bitcoin. Yeah. And then after that, we actually go to the Bitcoin meetup, which the, is at Strange Brew, the world's longest running Bitcoin meetup at Strange Brew. Yeah. It's crazy. It's incredible that wow. we can do an event like that. It'll be my first one. That's April twelfth, right? Your first w- bar Bitcoin? crawl? No. Well, yes. Oh, your first Bitcoin meetup. First bar crawl and Bitcoin meetup. Wow. It's all your fault. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going full manch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doing full ma- four twenty rally and a Bitcoin meetup in one day. That's that's full match, <laughs> right? I'm actually really looking forward to it. I've actually have not done a pub crawl really in Manch yet. I've never done a pub crawl high, so I mean, I think that'll be. <laughs> I'm pretty jealous that you guys did the four twenty rally in Manchester recently. Yeah, uh, Liberty, Liberty Forum. Forum. That was uh, that was fun because uh, I mean, I got to do a four twenty. I go to a four twenty rally with Rich Paul, which is just like an honor to do so. Um, and we had about, uh, I'd say about 20 some people out there, give or take, maybe 25. Yeah, I'd say it looked really cool. You yeah. took a picture, right? I took a selfie picture because like, there's no one else to take the picture. Like, we couldn't find someone else to, to grab it or whatnot. But, like, everyone was like very energetic during the photo. So it just looked epic. Yeah. You know, it's been making its way around the internet. It looks really cool. Yeah, it's, it's a cool photo for sure. Uh, but we'll talk about a little bit more uh, 420 actors on uh,
a good plot here. Hey, Derek, at some point, uh, hopefully today or tomorrow, can, can you show me how to get this to work so I can do what I want to do? I think so. Because yeah. I bought, uh, I, bought uh, the, I got the USB sound card. I got the yeah. extra adapter. I don't know where to plug them in. I had just have it sitting there. But, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, I found out uh, when I ran into Davi at Liberty Forum, uh, both me and Shardy ran into him. I'm like, I got to know, man. What happens if I uh, if I order something from uh, Shiny Badges and say worms, and he, like he opens up his bag and hands me this? Awesome! No way. So like he gave me that as like yeah, it's like, oh just here, just take that. That's what I would have sent you. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Me too. Like <laughs> at least That'd be ten so times. Cool. It was weird. We were talking about <laughs> zombies like the entire time at the Bitcoin meetup. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was really cool. This is the promo. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Are you kidding me? Hey! Rapture. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Rapture. Rapture's hey in that. I, I, I'm so honored that he's but, a good friend to stick up for me like that. With that hey, that mm -hmm. hey is like, you're hurting my friend. Like, oh, you, it's not even like it was angry oh, at so ridiculous. Or angry at authority. It's like person to person. It was right. so, so earnest. <laughs> Right. Good guy. Hey, what do you want to hit up he next? Filmed, you filmed. Because that last segment was rough. Was recording. Even Steve was recording. I don't know. Steve I felt like some dead space. Hmm. Oh, I gotta do that next open. time. Yeah. Do that that next time. Do we have anything if you scroll down? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I miss you. Oh, because he oh, went thanks. to that the libertarian. Yeah. Episode, yeah. The announcements. Really nice. <clears throat> Hmm. So, I the top one. To move to a place people. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. And once I got you know, here, by the way, I, uh, I, be. I, 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 I threw out awesome, the whole thing of full bitch. And I didn't want you, like, jump. I didn't want to, like, call you out. <laughs> so I just didn't say anything. <laughs> no, it's all right. I moved to the Shire. <laughs> I mean, I, that was the hook. I the thought you would, like, I was handing you a baton, like, here you go. And then, look, I'm still holding it. I'm like, shit, well, I guess I gotta go to some other subject then. That's what I felt like during the last segment. <laughs> you know, I miss the uh, Peace News Now five-minute uh, news updates. You ever gonna do oh, that yeah? again? Maybe, yeah. That was a lot of fun. That's how I started, right? Like, that's uh, yeah. I like. I so actually like that a lot. Like, well, I, Daryl has been filling. The I'll niche. be honest, Daryl. My name is Daryl. That's FPP. No, He's say. a machine. <laughs> he is. I'll yeah. give him credit. I don't really care for his house. radio FPP. show that much, but like his news updates yeah. are good. Yeah. Like he, you want he more does of a that? Yeah. You, he does a really good enough? job of doing that. You want me too? Yeah. In addition to Daryl already? Well, you okay. don't cover the same stuff. No. Yeah, I mean, five minutes, style. you always have to leave stuff out. Right. But um, yeah, that was cool and fun to make. And then I made videos out of them and put them on YouTube, like Peace News Now. Yeah, I used to subscribe to that. Yeah. Didn't you ever get, like, other uh, editors in on that? Or yeah. Because I noticed you sometimes threw up another name of someone else. Yeah, there was um, two major other editors. Uh, Adam, uh, who goes by Sonic Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. um, I think people can find him, his work online. He does video editing. And uh, also, obviously, Hip Hop. And um, Rachel Bissell, she also does stuff. Oh, she should be coming up in a second. She did a great job. Fiend's co-host and Cecilia here on the show, and uh, you know, I was thinking, you guys have really, both of you have really distinct voices. Have you ever done any kind of voice work, voice acting, or commercials? <laughs> yes. For what? No, just for for my own stuff. <laughs> it's, <laughs> what, it's like what I do. Yeah, I do voice work all the time, every day. Would you do voice acting? 
Um, no, but that was a dream when I was a kid, when I watched cartoons, like, and then I found out, like, I saw those videos of actors behind studio walls, uh, reading these voices and being my favorite characters on TV. It blew my mind and it did make me want to be those people. Like I wanted to be a cartoon voice. Which cartoon would you want to do? I don't know. Like I could see myself in Hey Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I used to do Ladies and Keen. Um, besides that, I mean, I've done a couple radio spots. Like when I was a kid, I did some ads for Sonic. Um, cool. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What? Um, and then uh, there's a promo on LRN that I'm in. Yep. Um, I, I actually started to get into doing voiceovers for video game mods. Um I haven't actually done any, but I'm I'm doing some research. Um, there's not enough female voiceovers in in video games, but I do impressions and voices and and all of that stuff. I love manipulating my voice. It's fun. Well, you should do uh, get into voice acting. You might have a career in it. A side gig. Do it as a side gig. I have so many skills. I know you're like a jack of all trades. Like everything you can, you got a hand in. I don't know. Anyways, uh, change the subjects here. Uh, <laughs> um, both of you, and either one of you can answer first. Uh, when are you moving to Manch? That That is a, a tricky question because, as I told you last time I was on, I absolutely love my job. So that's the thing. Once I don't love my job anymore. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, what about you, Derek? That's also really hard to say. I mean, I've been planting roots in Keene for a while, you know? Um, so I don't have any plans at this time to move to Manchester, like, immediately. But I know that's somewhere on my journey. Like, in the same vein that at some, at some time in my life, I'm also going to live in New York City, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, there are just, you know, I know that some things, some places I'm going to live definitely going to live in Manchester that's going to happen but you know whether or not it's going to be this month or this year I don't I don't really know I don't think so things are going well in Keene you know I'm happy I've got my my home studio which rocks I'm at LRN studios which is cool living with Ian and uh you know that's kind of like a dream too because <laughs> like <laughs> um I had listened to LRN for years yeah. Um, in Philadelphia before moving and now living in LRN studios and seeing, a, you know, like a blinky light going off if uh, LRN is, is off the air and uh, seeing um, and uh, hearing LRN in a, in a few rooms is really cool. Um, it's really a lot of dream come true in a lot of ways. No, I can I can 100 percent relate uh, for us. I know I can I can vouch for both of us a dream being on this. Right. Yeah, actually being broadcast on LRN right now. Is yeah, because we used to listen to LR, both of us listen to LRN well before we moved. Yeah. So like I understand exactly. Like an what you're unhealthy saying. amount. Like I used to oh, listen God. to Free Talk yep. Live every day. I'd put on LRN in the background and I'd do you know my daily whatever. You know what? It's weird. I don't know. I still listen to LRN from time to time when I'm like I'm traveling in my car, which I haven't. I haven't driven my car in a month because I got an accident so I'm fixed my car oh. it's getting fixed right yeah, now the bitmobile yeah this is happening to everybody I know I've noticed mine died yeah everyone. oh my god really man yeah, my, so my motor you, locked up you me Renee Rob yeah all of our cars have died in the last month <sighs> or it's gotten a conspiracy injured. wow yeah it's government what's going on yeah and Ian's know. even started going back oh too. wow so every, everything's going crazy yeah mm. hmm. but uh yeah I mean um I don't know. It's weird. Like I used to, just like uh, Shari did here. I used to listen to LRN like every day. Like mm -hmm. I would, I would just literally leave it on. I'd have tune in on my, uh, <laughs> on my, uh, my phone. It'd be, be it'd be plugged into my car or Bluetooth yeah. when I get home or whatnot. Or if I went jogging, I'd have tune in running in. I'd listen to LRN, uh, like Free Talk Live live. I'm running at night or whatnot. Uh, now I, I actually rarely ever listen. So like almost any yep. every media now. Tune like in at all. Tune in is actually how I found LRN and learned about the Free State Project and moved and all that. Really? Wow. Yeah. From I, Tune In Radio? Yeah. So no, um, I I consider myself like a weird conservative because I was all like, money, don't take it, and then I was like, I don't care what you do, whatever. Um, so I was like, 
oh, we're conservative. And I used to listen to this guy, Neil Bortz, who's like a libertarian leaning uh, Republican. Uh-huh. And he's like, if you believe this, 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 you're a libertarian and you need to vote Republican. And I was like, what the hell's libertarian? So I Googled it and I was like, holy shit balls. I'm a libertarian. I just didn't know it. I Googled it on TuneIn. All right. I searched it on TuneIn, found Free Talk Live and moved about three months later. Whoa. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. I've never heard of a tune in radio app uh free state uh mover story before. I found I found Free Talk Live. It was right before it was probably May of two thousand eleven and uh like the end of it and Pork Fest was coming up and I got really excited. I wanted to go and my fiance at the time didn't want to go and then the week after Pork Fest I ended up leaving him and moving back to Virginia and then moving up here a month later. Well, this is the divorce date project. So <laughs> you know it was engagement. Like everyone comes here with uh Usually relationship issues at some point or another. I'm sure almost everyone at this table is probably like that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the reason being is a lot of people are living where they're from and they're in a relationship and maybe that relationship is the last thing keeping them there. And then once that goes, then there's nothing keeping them there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you uh, you break up. That's your last anchor. Or worse is they both move here. Mm. And yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. Which has happened to a lot of people. Yeah, well, when you get here, like your life changes relatively quickly, and it, it evolves in an ever fast uh, changing pace. Correct. Yeah, and it's it's really hard to describe if you're listening at home right now, or like, again if you're a jogger or something like that. It's hard to describe how you will evolve over just a one year period of how you f- first step foot here, and then how you will be a year later. You will not recognize yourself in the mirror. Uh, just at all. Period. From when you got here to when uh, just a year later. I've been here almost four years and just a week, you know, where I was last week and where I'm at this week, completely different. <laughs> completely. Isn't that crazy? Like, was your old life like that at all? Not really. Yeah. Isn't it? A, I mean, I I feel like sometimes I'm like the crazy one when I talk about Shire Town, like how time like just Shire, years. You know, Shire think, years, but like there's, that's a real thing. Like it, it does, it, it's a, an effect on your mind. I honestly feel that, uh, Matthias von, von Glutenberg, um, illustrated this the best when you know everyone is being Clark Kent wherever you live you know you have to put this mask on and and do all the normal things and you can't be who you really are wherever you are yeah but everyone here is being Superman because everyone's able to be exactly who they are and act in the way they want to and create the happiness that they need in their life so come be Superman yeah no I I 100% agree. Like living here, living here in the Shire, you can be whatever you want to be, you can do whatever you want to do, and you don't feel like that. You don't have that uh, social uh, pressure against you from doing that. You can do whatever you want. It's like, it's Worms. Can someone explain the worms and the meowing to me, please? <laughs> Freedom Fiends. I don't watch podcasts. It's the creamy D. You don't watch podcasts. I don't you listen, listen to, them. to podcasts. So, here's the important thing that you have to know is that, um, well, can you mute the, the mics for a second? Actually, I don't know if this is. What? He's talked about worms on the show before, what it means. Yeah, but, um, okay, well, they're, all right, anyway. Yes, worms is word, mm-hmm. and it's like a warrant canary, which is like if you do something or have something on your website or something on a regular basis, something that you normally do, um, and then you stop doing it, like that's the warrant canary. That's the, the oh gosh, they're so, so involved. <laughs> You know, so there are sometimes that the government contacts you and tells you that you're not allowed to tell anyone that they contacted you. Mm -hmm. Gag order. Yeah. Warrant canary. Well, no, no, that's not the warrant canary. That's just, it's called, like, uh, papers, NSA papers or something. But... Wrestling star. Glenn Jacobs. <laughs> oh, look, I have a Snapchat. Yeah, I just snapped something. I'm trying to be a Snapchat activist. Yeah, add Snapchat me on Snapchat, would you? Come on now. <laughs> I'm an entertaining Snapchatter sometimes. Okay, what did I do wrong? Hmm. 
V Rebel on Snapchat. Derek, who are you? Yeah, Derek. Statheism? Just like it sounds. Yeah, how it sounds. <laughs> what, are we, what are we going with here? You can add here? me. I'm Liberty Seed. Probably a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm gonna throw it to you. So you better come up with something. We have not done a good enough. Is there anything you guys want to bring? Yeah. Up? What do you want to bring up? Because we've been powering yes. through all our topics. Did you add me? No, I gave up. I, I didn't Liberty feel like it. You you don't want to, do you? That's okay. What? Derek. My I, in the in the words of Daniel Cravis, my stream is very funny. Very funny. What? Daniel Cuevas says that my Snapchats are very funny, and oh. and every time he sees you me have now. Cuevas on Snapchat? Yes. What is he's, he on? He's Dan six oh three. Oh. Yes. Right. You have him too. I don't think I added him. But um, he he loves to watch like my story. He tells me I'm very funny, and he wants to know when there's new ones coming out. It's That's like great. I'm Shire dude now. When's the when's the next Shire dude coming out? When's the next Shire dude coming out? What, okay, what what, you what would you like to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. We're going to have to show our underwear. <laughs> oh. oh, I know. We can talk about We haven't hit I that mean, yet. I mean, did you want to, like, touch back lungs and, like, go deeper? Because yeah. we no, skimmed there, stuff. Yeah. We could go deeper. Oh. We can go back to so how deep. podcasting is <laughs> a lot uh. of fucking work. Hmm? I don't know how Derek does so much podcasts. I have no idea how you even do it. I don't know. Do you see this face? I do couldn't see do this it. Face? This two hours this a week just it. kills me. This face right here. I love it. I love to do it. I have to do it. You have to do it. it Can't it stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. It's like the heart. It keeps me alive. It's like I can't. I do enjoy doing it too. Don't get me wrong. I love doing it. There are some nights where I'm depressed and I can't, and I don't want to get out of bed. But if I have a podcast, you do it. hear me? Sit right across from me, biting your lips. Watch me. Where's the other one? Yeah, it's, I like that we got to see it before he covers it back up. Welcome back. To the Rebel Love Show, and uh, I kind of want to touch base a little bit. Uh, I want updates, uh, Derek. What's going on with the whole uh, concealed carry thing that's going on with you? Oh, nothing. No. It's yeah, it's all up to the Supreme Court now. So um, the backstory for those who don't know is I applied in summer of 2014 for a concealed carry license. In New Hampshire, it's a shall issue state, meaning if you're not a felon and you don't have any domestic violence history, then you will be uh, given a license to con to conceal carry a pistol or handgun. And uh, I was denied. So there's an appeal process. That I did that. I lost at the first level. And um, I had hired an attorney to cover this, Evan Knappen. I wasn't surprised that I lost, even though he's a great attorney. Mm -hmm. um, part, sometimes part of the strategy, you know, is, is long term. So at this point, it's before the New Hampshire State Supreme Court, and they can decide on it whenever they want. So it could be tomorrow. It could be a year from now. It'll likely be sometime in December. That's my guesstimate. Do you open carry a lot? No, not anymore. I used to. When I moved to New Hampshire, it was an important right for me to exercise open carrying. I was like, wow, I feel like a free human being. I mean, the police aren't questioning my freedom to defend myself. Holy crap. <laughs> like, where <laughs> am I? And that felt empowering. Uh, even though I, you know course didn't have any occasion to to use it and thank goodness you know i would never hope for that but uh it felt good to be able to exercise my rights and yeah. i can still open carry to be clear i haven't lost any rights in that sense but uh i'm not allowed to conceal carry do you 
Do you think that will be ever uh, uh this, if it does hit the Supreme Court? Do you think they'll rule in your favor? F- f- yeah. Tell. Yeah, it's clear that they're going. I mean, I shouldn't be so cocky and be like, yeah, of course they are. But that's what I think. Yeah, because they'd be foolish not to. There's a bill before the the governor right now about constitutional carry. Right? Didn't it make it through the House and the I Senate? I know there was a hearing in the state house uh, like a month ago. Okay. Well, maybe I'm I don't know if it's I don't know if it got pa- I don't know if it actually passed the state house yet. Well, at the very least, there's a bill that's before the New Hampshire state legislature and uh, regarding concealed carry, and it basically says we're going to be the same as Vermont. Yeah. So, and Vermont, by the way, has never had a handgun license. The Constitution is their handgun license, and they just say, (laughs) you have the right to carry a gun with you however you like. It's amazing that uh, Vermont, being the liberal state that it is, has no uh, gun law in regards to uh, concealed open carrying whatsoever. It's only recently liberal. So I hear. I'm not an expert on this, but some of the locals tell me that the hippies sort of moved into Vermont, uh-huh. like during the hippie movement, like, oh, we need to find a place for ourselves. Sort of has uh, reverberations of similar movements today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. So, uh, yeah, but speaking of the um, you having to go through like the court system to do something that you should be able to do, um, you did have that one victory, though, uh, on the parking ticket. Right where they just like dropped it. <laughs> I saw that yeah, video. They've done that several times. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah, they continue to drop my parking tickets. That's have, great. Do you have any advice for uh, uh, for court activism? Because you've do done it. A, you've done a lot. Oh, obviously, do it. But That's what, what, what people aren't doing. Give us some advice. Give us some a walkthrough of like how you prepare for it. What you well, do. Well, I'm I'm personally I'm gonna go challenge all of my parking tickets that I've amassed during the winter time <laughs> during the crazy Manchester winter parking ban and prohibitions. Why did you wait so long? Did you put put uh, in for them? Or? I have no. I've, I I'm, it's still under thirty days, so I'm okay. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. But uh, I've got a few of them. Uh, just just from. You know, random things happening. You know, uh-huh. things happen. You leave your car somewhere, and then sure, you come back two minutes later, and there's a ticket. I know uh, what it's like. So I'm challenging all of them. Good for you, man. <laughs> so <laughs> we're actually going to roll into city hall tomorrow, and and, and yeah, I have a uh, when I got into an accident, they gave me a uh, a ticket for uh, following too close. But I want to fight it because, like, following you, who? The officer? No, the the, the someone person else that I hit. I I did hit. He rear-ended oh. someone. I rear-ended someone. Oh. But they slammed on their brakes. But nonetheless, um, I mean, for them they had a scratch. My car was totaled. Oh. Um, but at any rate, I don't know how they can write me a ticket without actually witnessing it happen. It's insane. Okay, yeah, right? you you rear-end someone, and they. The, I hear this always happens in Manchester. Like, no matter what, as mm. long if. If you hit the back of someone else's car, all of a sudden the city gets a cut of that somehow. Huh. Yeah. So basically the whole thing is like, yeah, not only did I get do thousands of dollars of damage to my car, basically wrecked it, though I got an agorist working on it uh, right now oh, who's going to cool. do it on the super cheap. It's yeah. just the only thing is it's been taking a month for him to get him to do it. But Any trade-offs. Not, yeah, I know. <laughs> At any rate, um, yeah, they, they, they gave me a ticket for like $110. I'm like – I got into an accident. Uh, they gave you a ticket. They gave me a ticket. <laughs> They're like, here, I know this is going to cost you a lot of money, but now you owe me some. <laughs> yeah. That's basically what they're saying. Um, I'm going to fight that. So I'm, I'm okay. asking you, do you have any advice for a newbie in regards to court activism? <sighs> oh, man. Like, I've no, read my share of um, uh, Mark Stevens. Yeah. That guy's got some really cool, like, questions that you can ask during court. Yeah. They're cool. They don't work. They don't work. <laughs> I've tried them. But they're showboaty. Like, I want to get yeah. at least a good video out of this, even if I end up paying more. I want to get a good video. Yeah, good point, Shire Dude. So right. is that your goal, Rob? Do you want uh Oh, I know I'm going to lose. I know this? I'm going to lose, so I just want a good YouTube video. Out of oh, it. well, in that case, yeah. yeah Look I, to Mark I, Stevens. He's got the best uh, little, like, one-liners about trapping the judge into, think- into saying um, something he really doesn't want to say. Uh, you don't have to assert anything. You can ask questions and let the judge paint this picture like he's working for the prosecutor, which he is. Absolutely. Right. And, uh, you know, revealing that is great video, even if he's just going to plow through you after that. <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I fully uh, assume that I'm going to have to pay this ticket. So I'm going to make a I'm going to get my hundred and ten dollars worth out of the uh, out of the court. Damn. Right. 
Make sure you jump all their all through through all of their little hoops for video recording too. Oh no, they no, can no. be really we, picky. We we don't have to jump no, we through don't hoops. Have to. We are we we're are, freaking baby though. Yeah, we're press. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, so. I just I'm just saying I once watched my friend get arrested for trying to bring a camera into a courtroom. It was very traumatizing. We, we, basically, true, we yeah. basically staked out the joint uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, we talked about it in our last episode. Uh, but Did you stake out? You cased the place? No. Well, I, place. I I fought my uh, previous my sticker ticket. And uh, so you went in for the ticket. pre-trial. You, yeah, I went you, to the pre-trial. Wait, wait, they threw it out. You fought your sticker ticket. Yes, I fought my sticker ticket. Fought it. I fought it. I went to court and I won. <laughs> yeah, I fought it by and won. paying the inspection. Yes, I paid the inspection, but at least I didn't pay all the <laughs> other fines to get a boot off my car. Um, but uh, no, I, uh, I I fought that one. But we basically used that as a, re- a way to like stake out like where would we put a camera, like how does we the went. Look? We talked to the head of security, get yeah. made sure that Free Keen was on as the press. So what we needed to do to be uh, to go in there and not be arrested for holding a camera. Oh yeah, we know about you people. Isn't it funny? It sort of reminds me of like magic. <laughs> how you can have a card yes. that you show somebody like it's a Jedi mind trick or something. No, yeah. I'm with Free Keen. Oh no. Now I have to let you in. Like <laughs> it's beyond my control. They, they they act like they're possessed by these pieces of paper. Well, I know. the building looks like a church too. It does. It's it real really freaky does. in there. And it, it's crazy because like you know, we that first week when we asked, they thought that we were just like normal people, not like I guess press, because somehow there's a website that exists in which we we have the ability to put an article on that gives us like superior First Amendment rights over the average person, because we just have to show up with like some sort of press badge that says Free Keen and we're we're golden. That's you all should we say do. the the power of Free Keen compels you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I got nothing after you that. You can't even. I can. You, you got it. <laughs> One thing, I actually have a few things I want to plan on doing during uh, my core battle. Um, you want to reveal them to the, to the public, the listening uh, on YouTube? Supporters? Oh, like they're going to watch this and listen. Uh, oh, they're watching. They totally do. They'll go through and watch all oh, of our yeah, episodes. They can hear our uh, outros now, right? And our intros? On YouTube? Yeah. On YouTube? No. Right. You, oh. you don't have the mix minus set up yet? No, that's oh, why. I need your help. Yeah, I need right. your help. Do you know? Okay, so. Either today or tomorrow hey, morning. Like, please help me. Face. Thanks, Kickstart. I made the bumpers. That's very nice of you to say. He likes them. Yeah. Do you uh, know Although how many... Kickstart is probably listening on LRN, so he didn't hear me just now. Mm. <laughs> if you, you heard the bumpers. Do you know how many people hmm. came up to him and was like, Oh my god, I saw you in an internet video after you did convention? At a what convention? Wow. No, really? after you after you did convention, I had a whole bunch like people I bowl with. Um, they're like, "Oh my, I watched that video of you. You, you are so because I'm so serious at work. Yeah. Like I'm like a different per. I mean, I'm still a little bit silly, I but I'm a so lot more. So much more Cecilia I'm, footage. I know you do. I haven't used yet. Yeah, you, <laughs> you need to put that on a uh, a raw channel, dude. No, Shire dude will never have a raw channel. Why? Why it's, won't you have a raw channel? It's giving away jokes before they're told. But if, but if you never tell them, works. no one will hear the joke. No, that's the best part, is the ones that I haven't told yet, I can save. Then well, how about the out. ones you have told? Throw the, like all the footage from those up. That's, uh, I don't know. What about a raw channel that doesn't have that raw channel? <coughs> you still save your own stuff and have a raw channel. My, my raw channel, I feel, is just my Bambuser account. Like, if it's going to be just put up raw, then I just use Bambuser. You don't do as much on that as you should. What, on Bambuser? Yeah. What resolution can you stream at on Bambuser? It's not great. I don't know. I'd have to look at it. Awful. It's, I need a new phone. Is it's what I not need. acceptable? And also, um, Bo was talking to me about having like you can get a wide angle lens and just toss it on there. Very smart. Looks mm-hmm. really cool. Correct. Um, and it's that'll, terrific. it'll yeah, it'll make all my broadcasts look way better. And I guess they're really cheap too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like five you know, bucks. Wow. And I could probably buy it with Bitcoin. No. No. Right. Well, I could use um the one website that, uh, no. purse, purse.io. No. I can't use purse.io. These particular items cannot be purchased with Bitcoin. These <coughs> are lenses. They're magic. Are 
two. They're only made by the government. Without the government, who would make wide angle cell phone camera lenses? Yeah, they're government wide angle lenses. <laughs> Without the government, we wouldn't even have lens technology. Let's be real. The market just really couldn't solve this. <laughs> yeah, please. Open heart surgery? Sure. <laughs> but wide angle lenses? No. Well, no. Those, Forget like, about it. Attaching them to a. To All right, a what do you want to? What do you want to hit in the last segment? This probably belongs. I know. In the last segment. Oh, I will hit that. I'll hit that now before the last segment and during. And during. Mm. But what? Mm. Last segment. What? I what know, would you I, like I to talk about? about. Wait, All right. What are you gonna talk? Uh, it's, it might be brief though. But. Okay. So you guys should come up with something too. Okay. <laughs> All right. This really is a hangout show. Yeah, like I, I feel like it. we're actually just like hanging out. I know. That's what I love about this show. Yeah. It's like it's real life. It's a thing. <laughs> it's it's I can't. Real life. All you kids at home who are wondering if this is real yeah, life, that, it is. Hey. That's, oh, yeah, hey. I have a really bad cable for that. I need to get. It's like a weird, like angled cable. I don't know why I bought that. It's all right. It's good. Don't oh, I was listening to. Uh, we haven't really talked. I mean. Ash, talk about what? We, we kind of right touched now, on Ash. Flaming Freedom, but we really t- talk about like how oh, it's yeah. going. Or... Yeah, let's talk about Flaming Freedom last okay. second a little bit. Yeah, cool. I want to talk yeah. about Pork Fest. I feel like we just got to the and underwear pork part. Fest. Totally pork distracted. Fest. What do you want to talk about Pork Fest exactly? How we have to tell them how awesome it is and how they have to sign up and register and and do all that stuff. Are you recording Flaming Freedom at Pork Fest? We, we have to, Welcome back to the Rubble Up Show. And we talked about a lot this uh, episode. Yeah, oh, we've been through, like, blasted through topics, I know, man. we keep going. Uh, <laughs> this show never stays on topic. We always uh, jump from uh, segment to segment. It's always something different. We never, it's rare for us to ever have the same cohesive thing when we hit that's how my brain works in real life, though, so it's okay. Yeah. Though it's kind of weird. Like, So lately, uh, for the podcast listeners, um, I've been lazy, no lies, um, and I'm, I'm going to get the Liberty Forum episodes out. We have three of them. I'm going to release them. Give me time. Um, but uh, anyways, if you go to the YouTube channel, you will see uh, – I've been too lazy to cut out the breaks. So all the breaks are there the last couple episodes. I, don't, I haven't uh, cut the breaks out, but the uh, – um, on the uh, podcast, I don't have the breaks on there. So I'm planning on adding them at some point. Hopefully Derek J here will fi- help me figure that out on my mixer here. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, anywho, um, I'll have that out soon. Uh, but if you have any suggestions on uh, or requests on what you want on the podcast or how you want to uh, see things port be portrayed, please let us know because I always take uh, the fans, uh, whatever they want to how they want the, the the show to go. I always love the, their criticism too, because I know a lot I, of people like the breaks. I love hearing from people who've actually listened to the show. It's a trip. Yeah, it, it's really cool because like you know they're because I, I used to listen to all the, these and uh, I always always like the breaks. So if you go to the YouTube channel, you'll hear all the breaks. So if you're listening to the podcast, check out the YouTube channel. You'll you'll enjoy some of the conversations we have during the breaks. So sometimes they're actually better than the actual show. You know, when you really hear um, a listener love fest, or or I should say, read a listener love fest, is when you're in the chat room. During Flaming Freedom. Aww. Oh my gosh. They love that show. Oh, the chat room loves Flaming Freedom. We have an amazing chat room during Flaming Freedom. I jump in there all the time Thursdays. <laughs> it really warms me to see so much interaction happening. Sometimes the whole screen is full. And and um, I don't know. That's really exciting to me. And everyone's really nice. The listeners also send us porn, which I think is a really fun thing <laughs> to do. It's amazing. Um, I, I send yeah. porn to my loved ones. Well, we all, yeah. So anyway, it's it's really cool. Um, that show is, has been a, a real blessing. How long, you been, uh, how long has it been back on the air? Um, I guess about a month and a half. I've done like six episodes now back with Dale. Uh, I guess it was in late January. When I talked to him and was just like, look, we got to get this thing going again. The Flaming Freedom was too much fun. Um, and he, you know, didn't want to do some of the the um, work of it that uh, that is involved in podcasting, as you well know, Rob. I mean, yeah, it's uh... some of the work is not as fun as other parts of it. So we've sort of done a um, what is it called where you divide division of labor okay. and. Uh, that has really worked well, and it's a 
fun show. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, gay sex stuff, but uh, we also talk about you know life in Manchester. Life as a Liberty person, it is sort of kind of like this show in the sense that it's it's people hanging out and, yeah. and talking. You know, <laughs> well, like as a podcast listener, um, I'm a, I'm a hardcore podcast listener. I always love where there's uh, the, the po- I w- I want to make a podcast that I would want to listen to. Like yeah. I haven't to me like I view this entire thing as like an art form yeah. and like we're for my art like right now like if you're watching on the YouTube channel like right here I I view it as this when I want to be like you know a tenfold higher right you know like it, it's nowhere near and I actually have like a whole plan of how I want to like get get to that point yeah um like for this show like I love the fact that it's like a hangout show yeah so I like I love having recurring guests because they start to build a rapport like I, for me like the the podcast I love is I'll, I'll I'll fall in love with like a certain different um, guest as like a character in a show almost, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like I I'll I'll purposely listen to that recurring guest on a different show, like all the time. Like uh, one of my favorite shows, Joe Rogan Experience. Like whenever um, certain different uh, guests are come up, like uh, Burt Kreischer is a comedian. Like I gotta listen to that one because I know it's gonna be hilarious. Because every time he's on, it's hilarious, you know, um, stuff like that. So like I know certain guests like yourself, like you get. Uh, they'll get it'll get a bump you know people will want that person on there you know and they'll build that rapport with that person it's almost like building like a, a relationship so when they come on they're talking about what's going on because the hangout show they're talking about what's going on in their life or what's what activism they're doing and we'll come we'll come back to them like in a few months later and they'll talk about what's going on it's a whole thing different you know it's like building this whole rapport with uh, the listeners yeah i find that to be more interesting uh, you know talking about our our lives like i know i'm I'll admit I'm vain, but I, I want to hear about other people's lives, too. You yeah. know, I, I feel like that's the stuff of life. The stuff that matters is uh, what you're doing day in and day out. You know, it's exciting to hear about activism, um, you know, the the arrests that are happening in the news. But, you know, what life is like in the experiment of living freedom today is possibly the most interesting thing I can imagine hearing about. No, I that that's the whole point of this show. I mean, half the time we're not really even talking about activism. We're talking about what life is like. <laughs> and yeah. when's the last time we discussed like Austrian economics or like <laughs> 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 why is Bitcoin worth anything? Like we don't really touch on any yeah. of that. We I, we don't also touch on like what it means to like what freedom is. You know, that's another thing. Like I'm past <laughs> I know what freedom is. I know what I know what it means to be a free person. Yeah, now, that Sorry, that really trips me out. The fact that we're at that point, that there is a, a liberty community that's so, I, I hate to, it sounds so egotistical, but so matured that it's like we're past Liberty 101. We want yeah. content for people who are like, yeah, 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 we agree, anarchy. Now, what about your cat? And like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like it's like when, when new, new movers come and they're like, let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's talk about, no, I want to disagree with you on this. It's like, no, let's let's talk about cats cats and share funny pictures and, and what you like to do in your spare time because, I, I'm, yeah, no, we agree on that. I get it, Liberty. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was, same thing for me. Like before I moved, I was all like, oh my God, Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. And, you know, Does I existence was, exist? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get here. And then when you get here, it's like everyone's <laughs> on the same page. Everyone's like, "Yeah, I get it. I I get that. Yes, 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 yes." And it's like, "All right, what do I do now?" I'm like, "I I actually can yeah. live my life now. I don't have to, <laughs> right. I don't have to talk. I don't have to debate people about what this is. Like, I actually live a normal. Whatever whatever this is is a normal life to me now. But I can actually <laughs> live, you know. Uh, and it's 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 an interesting thing to like try to relate that in like a podcast, YouTube show, and whatnot. Like say, hey, look, this is actually a real thing, and like, you don't have to feel like the crazy one in the room. Uh, it always trips me out when I'm talking to like a, a coworker, especially like someone like who's newer. And uh, I mentioned Bitcoin just offhandedly. Like I'm so spoiled now. I'll be like, oh yeah, so I was, I was paying for this with Bitcoin. And they're like, wait, what's Bitcoin? And I just look at them like from another, <laughs> another planet. I'm like, w- how do you not know? I don't know. I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled because I get to hang out with all these awesome people who already know everything. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, like a lot of times, like especially like during uh, like Liberty events, like Liberty Forum or like upcoming Pork Fest or at a New Movers Party or shit like that. Um, for Bitcoin, I'll literally just open up my wallet and I'll show them my transactions. And every single transaction on my wallet is done in person. And I'll flip through and it's like 50 some plus transactions in the last couple of months. And they're like, what, what do you mean it's in person? Like, you actually use this in person, like not online? I'm like, yeah, I really, really do. All the time, a few times a week. I'm always using Bitcoin, you know? Um, it's fascinating when, like, they, they see it's, like, I'm actually walking. I feel like I'm walking to walk, but it's so normal. Like, just like with Bitcoin or, like, smoking in front of other people and whatnot. Like, 
that it's normal life. But I know if I did that in front of other people, they'd be like, "Oh, oh you can't, you can't do that." <laughs> <laughs> you know, are, are you really, are you really doing that? Are you worried about getting drug tests at it, work? Or something? It's interesting that you bring up smoking in front of other people because that's like I feel like that's that's something that most free staters aren't afraid to do is smoke even in public. A lot of them will smoke in public. Yeah. Um, in California, where I'm from, uh, it's you know you can get your weed card and and smoke, but people are still like. Oh, all skittish about it. Like you can't do it in public. You have to be like you know stowed away in your car somewhere. But what's weird? It's like it's become so like normal life that it's a uh, it it just feels normal if someone like packs a bowl. Oh, okay, that's cool. Like this just seems normal. You see someone smoking. Like that's just a normal thing. It's just a normal thing that you see people do. And that wasn't a normal thing. And, you know, I know a bunch of people that smoke, but it's like when you beforehand, like your the crowd that you would be in, like it, it, you had to like kind of you had to feel them out to see if they even were a smoker. You know what I'm saying? Like like your old the old people you would hang out with, you had to feel them out first before like a new person before they smoke. Here it's like, hey, do you smoke? Oh, cool. Let's all right. Let's let's smoke. Like it's not like a a social wall in play in case you don't uh, you know in case that person doesn't smoke. I don't know. That's that's my uh, take being here for, compared to uh, being when I, before I moved. I don't know about you, Shire, dude. You know, you know what I'm saying at all? Is this just me? Am I only one man's boat? It's weird. It's weird being here. I used to move when I moved here. I thought freedom was a destination. Like I was moving to New Hampshire and I was going to be free. Now it's a it's a but mindset. I, I realized that freedom is a journey. Yeah. You know, and I'm on it. Speaking of, uh, come on, Stan, Derek, where can they find you at? TheDerekJ.com. I also just registered a new website yesterday. Should I drop that? Shoot it real secret? quick. There's nothing there. Forkfest.com. Register right, and buy your tickets now. ShinyDude.com. Find me at TheRebel.com. Peace.